hello everyone welcome to the channel so in this video I'm gonna show you how to measure distance and area in RGIS Pro so now let's get started so we will use a measure tool to measure the distance and area and uh, snapping environment to improve the accuracy of those measurements so now we're gonna navigate to this particular study area that is Washington and now we're gonna navigate to this particular study area that is White House so again you can able to visualize it so now uh, at the center of my map I can see the White House so now we're gonna measure this particular uh, distance and also we're gonna calculate area for White House here so now we can able to view the full area bounded by this uh, four streets here so now I could like to find the approximate distance between uh, this particular corner and to this particular corner here so to find the distance uh, we have to navigate to this option in map section in that we're gonna click this option called measure so now to measure distance uh, we have this particular option here so I have uh, currently uh, selected uh, measure distance and planar and the metric we are using is uh, we are using this particular matrix here and now we're gonna find the distance from this corner to this particular corner here so now I'm gonna click this and now at the end of this corner here I'm gonna double click and now uh, this gives me a distance of about uh, 1127.54 meters and now uh, I could like to measure the area bounded by this particular uh, area so I'm gonna measure uh, this particular uh, gonna calculate the area for this particular uh, polygon here so now to measure the area we're gonna navigate to this uh, tool here we're gonna click this down arrow button here in that we're gonna select measure area so it draws a polygon to measure area so I'm gonna draw a polygon around this uh, corner here I'm gonna single click here and I'm gonna single click here and similarly in this corner and now I'm gonna double click and now this gives me an area of about uh, 736 uh, that is 7,36,166 uh, square meters so it is in square meters currently now so to view in square kilometers you have to navigate to this section in the metric here I'm gonna click the down arrow button here in that we're gonna select uh, kilometers so we're gonna select uh, square kilometers you can able to see this particular uh, unit square kilometers so now here you can able to observe the area for this particular uh, study area that is around 0 0.74 uh, square kilometers so now we have calculated the area for this particular uh, study area so now uh, I will uh, save the bookmark uh, bookmark for this particular area here so for that I'm gonna navigate to this option here bookmark in that I'm gonna click this option call and now I'm gonna click new bookmark so I'm gonna enter the name for this particular bookmarkers uh, White House so now we're gonna click we're gonna click OK so the third type of measurement that we can do is to measure features so to do that uh, we will add a layer using uh, features from my uh, database so I'm gonna add a, a state boundary so for that I'm gonna navigate to the catalog section here so I've made a folder connection so I'm gonna right click and click this option called add to current map and now you can change the color of this particular layer here so you can choose uh, this particular color so by adding this shape file uh, that takes us to the extent of the whole world here and uh, I want to do my measurements more local to the White House so I will use my bookmark uh, to get back to that location so for that we're gonna navigate to the bookmark uh, option here okay, I'm gonna click the down arrow button so now we can able to see this particular bookmark called White House I'm gonna click this and now we're gonna change my map scale to uh, 1 is to 500,000 so navigate to this option here in that we're gonna select uh, 1 is to 500,000 scale so now I'm gonna rename this particular layer here And now I'm gonna label this area. So I'm gonna right click and uh, click this option called label. So now you can able to uh, see the areas 
so there is maryland district of columbia and virginia so to measure the area of uh, district of columbia i can use the measure feature option uh, i'm just uh, gonna navigate here i'm gonna click this down arrow button here and we're gonna click this option called measure features so currently we have selected the measure features and i'm uh, gonna click this uh, particular uh, district of columbia so here you can able to visualize the area that is in 162.24 square kilometers and a perimeter of 59,121.43 meters. So if I want to see the perimeters in kilometers, uh, I can change the unit of uh, unit to kilometers at the top. So for that, we're going to navigate to this option here. I'm going to click this down arrow button in that we're going to select uh, kilometers. So now you can able to visualize uh, in kilometers just uh, 59.12 kilometers and now uh, to get a cumulative measurements like the area and the perimeter of the district of columbia and uh, maryland here added uh, together i just uh, click on maryland so to do uh, together they have an area of around uh, 25629 uh, square kilometers and a perimeter of uh, around 2858 uh, kilometers and uh, if i want to add the virginia into that cumulative measurement i just uh, need to click on the virginia here i'm gonna click this so you can able to see the combined uh, square kilometers of uh, district of columbia maryland and virginia so district of uh, that is maryland uh, district of columbia and uh, that is virginia so the total uh, in square kilometers is uh, one lakh uh, 27,864.52 square kilometers and similarly it has a perimeter in uh, of 5,855.79 kilometers and the measurement displayed uh, can be copy uh, pasted out to other applications uh, do, the, do that to the notepad here we're going to copy this data to our notepad so I have opened my notepad here so now to copy the result we're going to click this option called copy result so once you did that, I'm going to click my notepad and I'm going to use my control uh, and uh, V to paste my uh, data here in the notepad. Or uh, you can just uh, right click on the notepad here and click this option called paste. So you can see the same data here. You can able to uh, see between this uh, data and our uh, data here in the notepad. So to clear the cumulative measurements, uh, I will click the clear result top button here. So navigate to this option here. So this is the clear result button. I'm going to click this. And now uh, let's uh, look at how uh, the measure tool can use the snapping uh, to improve the accuracy of measurement. So now I'm going to add a shape file. So now I have added a shape file here. So I'm gonna rename rename this as a populated places, and now we're gonna label this uh, populated places here. I'm gonna right click and click this option called label. And for the uh, state and provinces, I'm gonna stop labeling. So uh, you may have uh, turned on the snapping tool. So uh, first, uh, let's make sure that uh, it's turned off. So now to check that, we're going to navigate to this option here. In the down here, you can able to see there is an option called snapping. So now the snapping is currently is turned on. So I'm going to turn it off. I'm going to click this option here. So now the snapping is off. So now uh, we want to measure area. So uh, I will click that uh, that uh, toggle on measure tool. So I'm going to click this. So I'm going to navigate to this option here. And we're going to click measure area. So now I will click on Alexandria and then Washington DC here and uh, then I will double click on the St. Charles to measure the area and the perimeter of this uh, triangle uh, surrounded uh, by those three places. So it will be in a triangle. So now we're going to click on this uh, on Alexandria and next we're going to click on Washington DC and next we're going to uh, click on St. Charles. double click so i get an area of around 202.90 square kilometers 
and uh, we have a perimeter of around uh, 78.31 uh, kilometers so now I will turn on the snapping uh, and I want to use uh, only point snapping so for that we're gonna navigate to this option here in the snapping section in that I'm gonna click this option called I'm gonna turn on the snapping so now the snapping is an on so similarly you have to make sure that in the snapping section here you have to make sure that you have to turn off other uh, functions here so you're gonna turn off this uh, I'm gonna make sure that I'm gonna turn off only this particular option point snap to the nearest points or LAS point features so I'm gonna turn off this uh, feature here and also this and also this one so only this particular option I'm gonna turn it on that is point snaps to the nearest point so I'm gonna check the same measurement uh, using uh, the snapping is turned on here so I'm gonna place a point here so I have turned off, uh, let me uh, turn it on here. Make sure that uh, you, the snapping is turned on here. And now uh, we're gonna approach this particular uh, point that is Alexandria. So now I'm gonna click on Alexandria and uh, I'm gonna click on Washington DC. And now on the St. Charles. And I'm gonna double click this. And now uh, this time the area is around 199.80 square kilometers. So you can able to view from this uh, from this area here. First time it was around 202 square kilometers, and the second time uh, we have used uh, the snapping tool has been turned on, and now uh, we have an area of around 199.80 square kilometers. So I will uh, clear the results so that uh, we can do another series of measurement. So we're gonna navigate the, navigate to this option, clear results. I want to determine the combined distance from the place of Washington uh, DC uh, to the western and northern. Uh. So the western, northern and the eastern and the southern uh, corners of the district of uh, Columbia before I'm going to uh, going back to where I've start started. So now in the measure uh, tool here I'm gonna select this uh, particular option called measure distance. I'm just going to mouse over the Washington DC to check that it's uh, snapping to the point so let me check that but I won't click it I will also mouse over the northern uh, corner of, uh, of the District of Columbia so, and uh, you can notice that uh, no snapping is happening here I need to set some other snapping types so if I want to if I want the corners of the District of Columbia to be snapped so now uh, we need to snap uh, on the polygon uh, features so mouse uh, so I'm gonna mouse over some snapping types to decide whether uh, whether to uh, turn it on. So here the first one is, uh, is called as uh, endpoint snapping is only for polygon. So uh, I will leave it as uh, turn it off. So I uh, leave that off. Next is of uh, vertex uh, snapping will work for polygon and uh, it's look like uh, that's what I want. So that I'm gonna turn the turn it on. And now uh, when I mouse over the corners, uh, I can see that the vertices of the, this state and province layer can be uh, snapped. So I'm ready to make uh, my measurements. So now I'm going to start from uh, Washington DC here. I'm going to click, I'm going to, uh, I'm going to click it on uh, Washington DC here. And now I'm going to move on to the western section of this uh, district of Columbia. I'm going to click that. And similarly, I'm going to move on towards the the northern the northern uh, corner here I'm gonna click here and similarly towards the eastern corner and then towards the southern corner here and now uh, navigate to this uh, point that is Washington DC I'm gonna double click here So the length of my path is around uh, 61.01 kilometers and uh, if you want that in miles uh, we can change the units so for that we're gonna navigate to this option here we're gonna click the down arrow and uh, we're gonna select in miles so now it is around 27.91 uh, miles 
So now uh, we have done it uh, measuring our to measure distance from Washington DC to the four corners of the District of Columbia. So now we're going to clear this uh, data here, clear result. So in this video I have shown you how to measure a distance and area in RGIS Pro. So thanks for watching and uh, please subscribe to our, our channel and give us a like.